Welcome to Bootstrap Session guys, subscribe if you haven't and today we'll be installing Ubuntu in Windows 10 into 64-bit operating system, okay? And let's dive into it. So first of all, go to the start and type store and press enter. Now in the search bar, just type Ubuntu and press enter. Now scroll down and install the latest one, whichever it is. Now the latest one is 18.04. So we're gonna be just installing it. Click on install. Now it's downloading it. And the size of it is 214.48 MBs. So better you have that much internet. Now until it downloads, just go to the start and type developer options. And just type developer and press enter. Now you need to turn on this option. Click on yes. Now close it from here. Now go to the start again and type control panel and press enter. Now in here just click on programs. Now click on turn windows feature on off. Scroll up to the last and you will see this option last third windows subsystem for Linux. Just turn this option on and click on OK. You must be connected to the internet for this because it's gonna download some of the files for the bash shell. Now before restarting you must take care of that the product has been installed this Ubuntu okay and after installing Ubuntu just click on restart from here. So now after restarting just go to the start and type Ubuntu and just click on this 18.04 and it's gonna take a while maybe 3 to 4 minutes. Until then let me show you the size it will be taking for its complete installation. And here you can see the total size after installation will be 879 MBs. Okay. So now here you can see that it has got successfully completed. Now what we have to do is just enter a new username. Press enter. And now you have to type a new Unix password. The password has been successfully updated and the installation is successful. Press enter. Here you can see all the information about the Linux operating system that we have just installed. It's a Linux desktop and okay. Just type ls and press enter. You can see anything. So just type cd space dot dot. Again cd space dot dot. And now type ls and all those cd and all those drives will be in the mnt folder. So just type cd space mnt and press enter now type ls and here you can see c d e and g drives let's list the contents of c drive ls c and press enter here you can see all the data okay now if you want to upgrade it just type sudo apt update press enter type the password now it will be getting the list of updates and now just type sudo apt upgrade press enter now here you can see that all the softwares are already updated so this way you can install ubuntu in your windows operating system and that must be 64 bit okay thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more